what is dietary fiber and its importance dietary fiber is basically the edible part of plants or analogous carbohydrates that are resistant resistant to digestion and absorption in human small intestine with complete or partial fermentation in large intestines so all plants all plant foods they contain the cellulose hemicellulose lignin pectin all these polymers are included in the dietary fiber because our digestive system do not have the enzymes to break these compounds so dietary fiber is part of uh, edible plants which our body cannot digest and uh, it may include the polysaccharides oligosaccharides lignin and other associated plant substances there are two types of dietary fibers which have been categorized on the basis of solubility if a fiber is soluble in water it is known as soluble dietary fiber if it is insoluble in water it is known as insoluble dietary fiber and this soluble dietary fiber it includes the pectin which is present in the medullamula of the cell wall insoluble dietary fiber includes the cellulose hemicellulose lignin they are not soluble in water we have to consume this dietary fiber with our meals and the quantity which we should take daily has been recommended by the the national research council and as per their recommendations we should we should consume 40 grams of dietary fiber per day they have calculated uh, this recommendation on the calorie basis they have taken the reference of 2000 calorie diet 2000 calorie diet is uh, uh, taken as the reference Uh, meal and if we are consuming 2000 calorie diet it should contain 40 grams of dietary fiber more is not always better if we consume excess dietary fiber along with our diet it will bind the minerals and will make them unavailable for the absorption so a diet that provides a variety of nutrients in the right proportion is the key dietary fiber has various health benefiting properties it has a role in diabetes it may help prevent wide swings in blood glucose throughout the day consider this bag as a part of small intestines and uh, consider this uh, intestine is filled with the food containing the dietary fiber and the carbohydrates which has been uh, digested into the uh, this uh, carbohydrate has been converted into glucose which is now ready to uh, uh, you know assimilate into the blood consider this uh, portion as blood and uh, after consuming meals this uh, uh, glucose is assimilated into the blood which uh, uh, and due to which there is rise in glucose level in blood abrupt rise in glucose, uh, glucose level in blood after consuming the meals but if we consume the dietary fiber along uh, the food it will uh, you know the soluble fibers which are present in the food they decrease the rate at which the food is released 
from the stomach and delays the glucose absorption into the blood. So in this way, uh, the consumption of dietary fiber along the food will prevent the abrupt glucose rise. Role of fiber in uh, weight management. As dietary fiber, it is uh, zero, zero caloric uh, food. Our body is not capable to digest it. So uh, the calorie provided by the uh, dietary fiber is zero and second after consumption of dietary fiber uh, it uh, uh, it gets swell up and uh, it uh, due to which uh, we feel fullness and uh, due to which uh, the hunger is uh, you know uh, it causes delaying hunger So these, uh, this is the mechanism how the fiber uh, plays a role uh, in uh, weight management. Role of fiber in heart disease. The bile acid, it is uh, synthesized from fat and it is used in our digestive system after its uh, secretion it is uh, reabsorbed through the intestines and then it is again secreted uh, for the digestion but if we consume the dietary fiber along with food this dietary fiber will uh, bind this bile acid and it will be excreted it is excreted it is excreted from the body so with this uh, fewer bile acid in intestine uh, less fat is absorbed also by increasing bile acid excretion the liver must use its cholesterol to make new bile acid so in this way the cholesterol present in the body will be reduced which is the main uh, you know cause for the heart disease which actually gets deposited in the blood vessels and uh, narrowing their diameter. Role of fiber in colon cancer. Nowadays foods are uh, heavily loaded with pesticides and uh, uh, chemical preservatives. Most of them are uh, you know carcinogenic and once they reach uh, to the intestines they react with these colon cells and uh, and cause the colon cancer consumption of dietary fiber uh, helps uh, to reduce this colon cancer in three ways number one the uh, consumption of dietary fiber dilutes these potential carcinogens second the consumption of dietary fiber uh, reduce transit time and the third these dietary fibers they bind they bind these carcinogenic uh, compounds and make them unavailable for the reaction and they uh, help to excrete them from the body so in this way consumption of dietary fiber can help uh, to prevent the colon cancer the last and important role of dietary fiber is to prevent constipation insoluble fiber absorbs water resulting in a large softer stool that is faster and easy it is faster and easy to eliminate so which can help us to prevent constipation the foods rich in uh, dietary fiber which we should add to our meals are the bran cereal bran whole grains 
corn green beans broccoli oats fruits sweet potatoes flax seeds and many more this was all about the importance of dietary fiber thank you for watching